Panelists Podcast. Kyle here with with Dimitri. Panelists Podcast. All right, so we are talking about The Last of Us, Episode One, not Episode Two, because that aired last night. So only Episode One and spoilers, lots of spoilers, and spoilers for the video game for not only you but also me because. I didn't play it and actually don't know much about it. So, Dimitri, did you play the video game? Yes. I don't believe you. I think you watch YouTube videos. To be fair, during mm. the pandemic, I watched one. And then when the second one came out, I watched two. So when you watch them on YouTube, is it just cutscenes or is it actual gameplay? It's all of it. Just someone playing through the whole game? All of it. They don't talk. You can find someone who talks throughout the whole thing, but I got one where they don't talk. Okay. I'm okay with that. To me, that makes you rather knowledgeable where I can pick your brain on many things. So before we even go into my questions, because I think I'm interviewing you now, because I literally know nothing and I'm super curious. What do you rate the show? Just episode one out of 10. 10. So that's good. Can I ask you what you thought of the episode? Just like rating it? Just a first impression? 7.5. 7.5? Yeah. You monster. <laughs> you fucking I'll tell you monster. why. <laughs> it had a little bit of a slowness after the time jump that's fair and there was certain elements that i didn't think were necessary they tried to do the whole show not tell and they did some of the showing so obviously that i was like hey, we're not stupid you know don't treat us like we're idiots like we get it we know what's coming no, you don't. And it could ready. have been a little long, could have been cut a little bit. It's more so the second half, or not even the second half, like the three-quarter mark. Okay. The fourth quarter, great. Third quarter, eh. First two quarters, heart-wrenching. But we'll get into that. So let me ask you this. The way the show starts with the flashback to what I think is like a 70 or 80s kind of talk show explaining how the temperature of the planet could make mushrooms really kind of not cool anymore. Is that from the game, or is that just a cool little way to start? Almost do like an info dump is how I kind of took it like here's the science you could figure out the rest the sciencey part somewhat but they don't do it like that they just kind of do the intro you get the names and whatnot and they're like talking throughout it okay so it did kind of pay an homage to the game almost the producer of the game i believe is like an executive producer on the show okay also the director producer the creative team is the, mm. the creative team from chernobyl okay that's another show i didn't watch but I believe you, you did. You watched Chernobyl? Oh my God. I think that's why you're not appreciating it enough because you didn't watch Chernobyl. I think that's more blasphemous than the things you said about the show. Okay. You should check out Chernobyl. That should be a watch. It's historical. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. So I'm telling you, you will. The world sucks. I want fantasy worlds that suck more. So to defend myself, the transformation of the old woman who was then perfectly murdered with a pipe wrench, that moment when she first started to turn, like just out of focus in the background behind mm -hmm. his daughter, fantastic. The dog staring at the woman, overkill. The dog having a panic attack because everyone murdered themselves, upsetting. The child trying to help the dog but then dragging it back and removing the collar from the dog to let it run off without a collar. Unforgivable. That did it for you? Everything that happened to her after that point. <laughs> lost all that was the thing. That was the thing. The lost collar. When she hurt her ankle, could have been enough karma. Dog. Hold on, this is a very serious game. This is a very important show. I don't like the little... <laughs> okay. Did his daughter exist in the video game the same as she did here? Because she was the main character until she died. I like how they did that. I um, do too. From the beginning, not so much, but from where they leave the house, the outbreak moment is very accurate, like spot on from the game, taken exactly from the game, the house mm -hmm. on fire, the, what they're saying, taken exactly from the game. That's really cool. Something else that did take me out of a very emotional scene when his daughter was murdered, he's running with her, military finds him, assumes they're infected over the walkie talkie, gets a kill order, shoots at them as they run they stumble down he's about to finish off joel tommy the brother shoots the guy saves him. joel's first reaction is to be like oh no the bullet skimmed my side i'm cut was not immediately i dropped my child as we ran from m4 fire down a hill that took me out of it because he should have immediately not even thinking adrenaline rushed to her and then when he got to her amazing acting clearly was in denial i would have liked to see him freak out a little bit more when he realized like oh no she's not okay but the dying scene that actress nico parker holy fucking shit does she know how to die <laughs> like the most horrific death yeah it was very upsetting that part that you're talking about with joel that's accurate he doesn't realize like oh she might have been shot she might have been anything he doesn't realize it until you hear like heavy breathing or labored breathing from her well also i think that the beginning overextended the point of he's just making it he has this person who's like just pretty much taking care of him but yeah the beginning part i believe tommy is the first one to realize like joel like not good yeah that was a pretty 
difficult scene for a character that we only knew for like 20 minutes. I like that they did that, that they made her a focal point because, you know, the fans knew that she was going. Now I'm curious if you think it's possible. Is he going to see her? Is he going to be talking to a vision? Is this actress out of the show now? Yes. And I hope so. I think that should be left as it is. All right. So to pick your brain more with the game, then is the whole setup after that, after the 20 year jump, which I want to talk about too, the time jump is the whole jump with him working and just trying to make money and still, you know, trying to get by with some random annoying woman. Is that game accurate? Like, is that how it starts in current? She's a random annoying woman. Fucking test. It's got a 9.4 on HBO max. Well, if you average your score at my score, you fucking piece of shit. I'm not a fan of Woman. I know from the covers of the video game that she don't last. I'm hoping deep down inside that it is Ellie that murders her for some reason. So back to your point from before, yep. this is a Joel and Ellie show. So I want to know is the Fireflies, Rebels, is that out of the game? And to my original question, is this how the game starts where he's just like working and selling pills and trying to get by and hanging out with the test that nobody likes? Yes, but I don't know if it's ever pills in the game. What you're also missing is that they have a system mm -hmm. with his brother and the reason he's more so eager to leave not to get to Ellie wherever she needs to go but it's more so to find his brother the pills are coming from the brother and he's worried about the no. brother because he needs the pills the no. brother's, drug dealer. brother's drug dealer oh my god you're hurting me Apocalypse, you're hurting really me when you say these things sent him down a bad path no he's a firefly right I'm not totally sure I might be foggy on that I'm not totally sure I don't think he ends up being with the fireflies by the end of the show okay we'll leave that at that my next Next curiosity is why do you think they chose to jump from 2003 rather than just bring it back 10 and jump at 10 exactly like the game was? I think it's just easier. I'll give you this, right? So okay. in the game, Joel has experienced Destiny's Child. He's experienced Anakin turn into Darth Vader in the prequel series. Jesus Christ, you're going to hurt me. He experienced the Lord of the Rings. These movies and songs had yet to happen. He's living in a world where these things were never even produced. So can we say that the show is not as good as the game because Lord of the Rings does not exist in movie form. This is such a weird in the question. TV show. Um, is it because HBO is mad that Amazon got the rights to Lord of the Rings and that is why they chose to make this time jump because they didn't even want the movies to be out there in this world? Is that what happened here? I see a conspiracy because it doesn't make sense for the time jump. Next question. Oh, judging off of episode one, why don't you tell me some of the differences that you might have noticed? The big one is I think they came out maybe a week or two before the show and said that spores were not going to be in the show. They would go around wearing gas masks and the spores would be how you could get infected. And it would be in dark places and more of like cavey areas or like dark buildings. They took that out. I think it works. The mushrooms or whatever coming out mm -hmm. of the, the turn humans' mouths. Perfect. Shroom zombies. Okay. Do you think they changed it just because it would have been super annoying to have this actor that they paid a whole boatload of money for constantly covering his face? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. I think it's just easier thing to deal with. And honestly, I got the impression that this show budget wise and everything was going to be very similar to the Watchmen show like by mm. the end of this season that's it they're going to cover oh. everything knock everything out you believe this or you saw a rumor of this no rumor is it the pacing of the show that you're thinking that like have they covered a lot of ground from the game technically no okay no they stopped just short of it and it's mm. almost perfect what would you say from episode one how many hours of gameplay is that could be about two three hours okay that makes sense to me I did see online that the t-shirt that Sarah's wearing in the show is the exact same t-shirt as the video game. So apparently the elderly neighbors aren't in the game. What's kind of Joel's first shroom zombie kill if it's not the old woman? It's the neighbor. The, I guess, would be the, the father, okay. not the grandmother. He buses through Joel's like back door glass screen gotcha. door so the fight happens in their, in their house. house okay yeah that's interesting so they kind of amped up the neighbors and gave a connection i think too like you were saying earlier to like make it deeper and harder that like everyone you've seen die so far you kind of really got connected with so the other thing which wasn't in the game from my research the child that they show when they initially make that jump to present day that child was brought in scanned with a little are you a shroom or not and then euthanized that was not in the game do you think that was necessary Necessary? I kind of do. They like to kill children, it seems, in this. 
they don't like to kill children. I still am unsure if that part I'm thinking of where like the woman is right next to Joel and she's like, I can't, which is great. All of this is great that it feels so connected to the show, even though you know it wasn't in it. It feels like, oh, that makes sense. That feels like that happened. So is Tess less insufferable in the game? <sighs> She's just tough, grit lady, no nonsense. How Get much em. of her do you think I'm going to have until she's murdered? I know exactly when she's going. Is it soon? Just tell me that. Yes. Good. Fantastic. Moving on. The introduction to Ellie. Is that accurate? Well, I guess it kind of makes sense to be in a video game where it's like, I got a quest. Go and talk to this person. They'll tell you it wasn't your a mission. Quest. It wasn't a quest. God damn it. <laughs> it was a side it's not that kind of game. So they added a little bit to that. So Marlene does come to him. She's like wounded, brings the kid and she's like, I need you to do something. Like, you obviously know your way in and out. Like, I need you to take her somewhere. I need you to get her someplace. I think it's less about I got to go check on Tommy in the game. And is the radio thing, which I thought was really cool of just playing a decade of music giving messages that way the house very reminiscent of his place in the game so i almost feel like there was a radio i don't think they mention it but he just is like yeah i haven't heard from tommy but he's less of a focal point and it's more of the quest to get ellie to safety and then yes. my next kind of obvious spoilerish question which kind of ruined for me but not really is she like the cure in the game or is it more of just a we're trying to save her because i kind of got the hint right before she smiled as Joel beat someone to death. Did she smile? A little bit. It was with her eyes, but she was smiling. <laughs> we know the scanner shows her as infected, which is why she was chained up for X amount of time. That all makes sense now, why she was a prisoner in the way she was. But she didn't turn, and it kind of shows, like, a rash that kind of healed. So, like, she's got something that she caught it, but it's not affecting her the same way it affects everyone else. And I just want to know, is she the holy grail in the game? Because just from the clips I've seen of the game, I do know, spoilers, that eventually she becomes the main character. And you're running around as her in one of the sequels. The sequel. And she's the one murdering people, right? So I just didn't think that she was the cure as well as being the protagonist who is also badass murdering people. You know, the game's not all about murdering people. Every clip I've ever seen is do a roll, do a roll behind a tree. There's three guys. What are we going to do? Hold the grenade, see the line, throw the grenade. The cool ones I send you. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more story ones and I'll send those to you. So you get, there's a better word than heaviness, but the gravitas of the situations to occur. So now that you've told um, me more, I'd like to give a new rating. I feel like you're going to go lower on the rating. I had said 7.5. I'd like to now give it 7.5 shroom zombies out of 10. The little out of the mouth pretty. It's easy. a good addition. I didn't expect it. And I get the changes from spores. I'd like to know more how it works. Like if you touch the, the mushroom, are you a mushroom now? Two things. The thing that he says about the ants, that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. I should send you a TikTok. It's actually pretty fucking. Kind of scary. Yeah. All warming. It's definitely real and happening. Two, you see one of the like monsters. You see saw the one on the wall probably saw it better on your tv than mine one of them is like out on a roof at the very mm -hmm. end where they pan up to buildings one mm -hmm. is on a roof and is like screaming i didn't catch that so that gives you an idea that's what they're also up against i mean some of the shroomies look like just straight up monsters out of like halo almost kind of yeah. reminiscence of like the flood oh you flood. mean like better than their show we don't talk about that show that's the worst where's the flood I just can't believe you have such a franchise you just destroy anyway it looks like there's more than just zombies they look like straight up monsters and i'm curious were they humans or like the mushrooms just growing into these monsters but i don't want to know i'll find out you will find out it's like an equation it's like outbreak time mm. equals some of the monsters because you know you want to give a 7.5 when it obviously deserves a 10 but you know yeah. i'll leave it up to you you got to not be so generous with the tens, you know? You got to reserve no, those I tens. I don't think I've given anything Marvel or DC a 10 ever. This was a 10 for me. Can I ask, mm -hmm. what did, cause did you watch it alone? No. What did the other party think of the show? Well, we got to the 47 minute mark and she was tired. We did not finish the episode in one go through. To be fair, it was just she two hours. She also called it very slow and talky, which is not a great way to describe any of it. But um, as Jeremiah would say, you brought me to your favorite restaurant and I shit on the table. I got good reviews with my old ball and chain. I don't mean to be rude. You weren't allowed to fall asleep during this show. You were got shook. She told me to watch the rest of it without her. And I said, no, I'll wait. Because I know when I record with Dimitri, he's going to be an hour and a half late. So we have plenty of time to finish the last 30 minutes. Panelized podcast. Panelized podcast.
don't talk about Velma. I don't want to even say it out loud. I don't want the algorithm to show me any more of those videos about how horrendous damaging it is. I don't want to see it. Scooby's a black woman. I heard that was false. It's probably false. It was funny. You got the same TikToks that I got because there was one woman didn't have a lot of views who said, oh, well, they don't even know. This isn't real. And I skipped. I said, fuck you. Everyone else can't be wrong. There's so many Scooby-Doo. Regendered and turned him into a food critic. I'm thinking, though, that they're going to name the dog after her. going to die. Be the first mystery. Die. They're saying it already got a second season. It's getting destroyed everywhere how do you I, give that two seasons i don't know i'm sorry I, we got off track